tree bites, the bee bites, the bark of the tree bites, the quietness of darkness, the stories told by firelight, the long night, the food bites, a summer made of memories at camp, camp. Campers, today we'll cover some of the more basic knots. You'll find that a knowledge of knot tying can come in mighty handy in the woods. Oh, yeah, like when, for instance? Huh? Like when, uh, well, uh, there's, well, when you're, we'll cover that lesson tomorrow. Meanwhile, we'll start with a sheepshank half-inch timber knot. Now, pay close attention. It's left over right, then up, then form a loop, and back through the loop, and now twice around, then halfway around over the left, and a double half-inch, followed by a quarter slip knot, ending with a sheepshank half-inch. And voila! There you go. <laughs> Looks more like how not to tie a knot. While I'm using my knot tying skills to get out of this, let me tell you a little story. <laughs> it's all about the creature from Lake Cacciatore. Far out is it all scaled with humongous teeth and one big bulging eye with lots of slime dripping from it? Well, no, actually, it's about an imaginary creature, which sometimes can be even more scary than real ones. I seriously doubt it. You think so, eh? Well, you listen to this. It all started one morning at breakfast. Uh, would you like a lump of sugar in your oatmeal, John? No, thanks, Nurse Molly. It's lumpy enough already. Say, uh, where's Robin? Oh, oh, well, oh, the little dear is so excited about editing the camp newspaper that uh, she sometimes forgets to eat. <laughs> Robin may be gone, but she's not forgotten. Watch this. I brought along one of her frogs. <laughs> Gotcha! Oh, Vic, you are sick! You said yourself, oatmeal masks are good for the complexion. Uh, John, I wish we could get Rick to stop those practical jokes and do something useful. Thanks, Nurse Molly. You've given me a great idea. Uh, what? Just hug and run? Me be a reporter? What do I write about? How about all the exciting things that are always happening here at Camp Candy? Like what exciting things? Well, like, you know, th th there's all sorts of things. Well, like, um, the, you know, there's, well, first of all, the... All right, hey, let's, uh, well, um, oh, I'm sure you're gonna come up with something. Oh, gee, I don't know. Or maybe you'd rather unmess the mess hall. <laughs> okay, it's me. I had to do something. Robin kind of missed the mark with her first few issues. Let's buy braces for beavers. Oh, brother. Ben, pin the tail on the donkey? Give me a break. Let Santa take a taxi? Oh, please. What's wrong with those stories? The bottom line, they're boring. They are not boring. At least not if you're an animal. Oh, no. Watch this. You're right. I guess I'll never win that best camp newspaper contest. Not true, Robin. You can do anything you put your mind to. John's right. You can win in a breeze if you just ran the right kind of stories. Like how to shred a monster away. Or better yet, an article on wilderness survival. What about a fashion photo spread? I can model a few dozen of my chicest camp outfits. Or maybe a story on curing allergies through worrying. Forget that stuff. Just make sure the paper's got lots of comics. See that? Everyone is eager to help. Right, gang? No, no way. way. No, no way. way. Forget it. We're eager to give advice. Helping is a whole nother story. Then I guess you'd better be off to the uh, mess hall. Uh, since you put it that way, uh, Ace Reporter Rick, at your service. Rick, there's a serious responsibility that goes along with this pencil, and that is to write only the truth. Hey, no problemo. You got my word on it. It seems that Rick had a plan to help Robin win that best camp newspaper award. Forget that. When do we get to see the creature? Soon, all right? Real soon. Just listen, will you? Whoa, babe! See something for the big story! Bigger than an exclusive modeling session with Vanessa? Really? You'll see. 78, 79, 80, 81. Cool.
Cool it, Alex. You've got to help lug that dry ice down to the lake. Only 30 pounds? Nothing to it. Here, hold these. Oh, if I could hold these, I wouldn't uh, need you. Gary, oh. isn't it? It's only some dumb thing made out of paper mache. Hey, what do you expect? The kid's only four years old. Perfect, Binky. This sea serpent is just what we need. It's not a sea serpent. It's a moo cow. That'll be our little secret, okay? That's it. Hold it. All right, I got it. This bathing cap better not leak. I just pooped my hair. You think you've got problems? This dry ice is playing heck with my sinuses. That's a wrap, guys. Assignment Sea Serpent is now completed. They finally left. Yeah. I couldn't hold my breath much longer. Now, where were we? It was your turn. You got any sevens? Go fish. I was hoping you'd say that. An actual sea serpent on Lake Hatchatory? Hmm. Where did you get this picture? Hey, our reporter never reveals his sources. Wait, our readers see this. Spotted sea serpent spotted. Wow, Rob bought it. Well, dudes, we just gave Robin's newspaper career one humongous boost. But, Rick, isn't this cheating? Hey, chill out, folks. Don't you want Robin to win that award? Sure we do, but fair and square, not like this. Well, it's too late now. The paper's already in circulation. Ciao. This is dreadful. Now what do we do? I say we tell Robin the truth. I don't care how much it hurts her. But it'll break her heart. Hey, if you're all too wimpy, I'll do it. Did everyone see the story about the sea serpent? Isn't it exciting? I might actually win that award after all. Oh, Robin, there's something we have to tell you. Yes? What is it? Uh, congratulations. Oh, thank you, thank you. Oh, great. What do we do now? Meanwhile, across the lake, Rex DeForest III was once again thinking up some crooked scheme. He's that ongoing villain, right? Yes, will you pay attention? Just, you know that already. Why would you ask me? I must find some way to get my hands on that Camp Candy property. <laughs> Chester, why are you wasting your time reading that stupid camp newspaper? Oh, it's completely neat, boss. It doesn't have any big words. <gasps> what on earth? Give me that. Sea serpent on Lake Cacciatore? Yeah, it's the kind of coverage you could only get from a local paper. Sea serpent, my foot. This is nothing more than some cheaply made paper mache model. Sea serpent? Well, I thought it was a cow. The whole thing is nothing but a huge hoax. Who are you gonna call? Who else? The hoax buster. You mean... Right, Gerardo Fernando. Gerardo Fernando here, world famous hoax buster. Rex DeForest III here. Have you been following the Lake Cacciatore sea serpent story? Have I ever? I'm already planning a TV special on it. Well, you're wasting your time. I have definite proof that it's all a hoax. That's better yet. I'm on my way there now with a camera crew. This is perfect! When the parents find out all this was just a cheap publicity stunt, they'll yank their little brats right out of Camp Candy. <laughs> you realize what that would mean? Oh, we'll be able to use their swimming hole? No, you amoeba brain. It means that Camp Candy will be mine at last! <laughs> candy on the map. And best of all, Robin felt so proud. Gosh, I can't believe the story in our little newspaper could cause all this fun. Hey, Robin, I knew you'd make a great editor. And Rick, you're a pretty terrific reporter yourself. <laughs> uh, thanks, John. Isn't it a good feeling knowing you can get attention without doing practical jokes? Uh, yeah, for sure it feels great. What an occasion. Everywhere you looked, there were trucks, news helicopters, and reporters. But on the other hand, there was also... Hello, I'm Gerardo Fernando. Are you the host, uh, I mean, the host of this establishment? Yes, I'm the head counselor, and I'm certainly pleased that... He... That's nice. Follow me, fellas. Let's start looking for clues. Oh, quick guy, over here. I found something. There, look what's under that bed. Uh-oh, we can't let him find that. You're right. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Hello, boy! <laughs> I'm a celebrity! I'm 
sorry, Mr. Fernando, but there are rules against entering these cabins without permission. Never mind the rules. What I'm after is right under that bunk. You mean this? Whoa, 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 whoa. Is this what you were looking for? Gosh, I'm sorry. I'm not. You got away with it this time, Candy, but I'm not through with you yet. Got away with what? Get Jacques Trudeau here on the double. Oh, wow! I can't believe it! Jacques Trudeau himself coming to our lake to search for sea serpent that you made up. Pretty exciting, eh, Robin? It certainly is. I'm going to write down every detail of this event so I can put it in a paper. That's Jacques Trudeau, the world's most famous undersea explorer. Mes amis, I go in search of the mysterious creature. I wish myself a bon voyage. Uh, if you find a left sneaker down there, it's mine. Oh no, I just realized if he finds a sea serpent, to lock him up in some awful aquarium, won't he? Well, yes, Robin, I, I suppose so. And it's all my fault for printing the story. But you were only reporting what happened. That's what reporters are supposed to do. Then I never want to write another newspaper story again. Robin! Hey, wait! Oh, great. Things are going from bad to worse. Listen, Rick. Maybe it's time it came clean. Not yet, Judith. I'm working on a backup plan. It was midday nap time for the campers. Poor Rick's conscience wouldn't let him sleep. Sleep, sleep, sleep. Ah, here's our little victim now. No, you got the wrong guy. Roll tape, roll tape. something he said, like, there's a sea serpent in the lake. Rick, I say it's time we blew the whistle on this entire scam. Don't panic, people. I know a totally tubular <laughs> way to convince folks there really is a catchatory creature. You do? How? Simple, my man. We're gonna build one. Oh, boy. Another moo cow. But what if someone finds out we borrowed the flat boat? They'll never miss it. Okay, guys, bring on the sea serpent. Some arrangement. The men give the orders, while the women and the children do the work. On the other hand, you'll be the first ones off if it starts to sink. Okay, Alex, lower the sides. Roger will go. Ta-da! I'll take over from here. There, now she can be seen in public. You just broke the first rule of working on a ladder. Never step back to admire your work. Okay, crew, we're approaching the pier. Let's maintain proper sea serpent speed, Alex. I hope you realize I'm missing my daily five-mile bike ride for this. Suddenly there it was, a catchatory creature. Ah. And a magnificent beast it was, too. Keep it in focus, you bozos. This is award-winning footage. Imagine Camp Candy has its very own sea serpent. Nurse Molly, this could make world headlines. Oh, maybe we could adopt the little thing as a camp mascot. Adopt a sea serpent? Of course, adoption is a lot easier if you're <laughs> married. Well, not necessarily. I, I, I believe there's another whole school of thought on that <laughs> subject. Um, 
Is someone calling me right now? I think they are. I, I, I've got to get going. <laughs> Move. All right, gang. We pulled it off. Next trip, 5 o'clock. I've got news for you. That was the final voyage of the good ship Catch-A-Toy Creature. My legs are gone. Listen, Deeds, at least we helped Robin cop that award. But I'm still not sure that lying is the way to earn it. Aha, so there is no sea serpent after all. There isn't? No, Gimbald. The whole thing is a complete fake. And now that I have the proof, it will be the end of Can Candy. <laughs> the third had found the fake sea serpent and he was peddling it to shore to show the world chester's the one who's peddling rest is the guy reading the map oh all right so it was big deal picky 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 meanwhile the campers were headed back to their cabins when suddenly scope it out someone's taking off their sea serpent how rude who'd do a thing like that well this is one thing they can't blame on you right binky 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 Oh, no. What am I going to do? I left Binky in the sea serpent. Binky? Inside a sea serpent? Uh, 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 call 911. Uh, get a stomach bump. Uh, get, get, get in the lab and boil some water. Do something. Why am I still standing here? What? Whoa, whoa, whoa. John, the creature's boat. We built it ourselves. I did makeup. We just wanted to help Robin win that camp newspaper award. We'll discuss this later. Right now, we've got to rescue Binky. Hi, mister. We go for another ride? Uh, hey, look, boss. Yeah, I stole away. It's one of the camp candy kids. Perfect. When Gerardo Fernando learns that camps of candy has endangered one of his own campers, it'll be adios, camp candy. Oh, booey. Does that mean we're not going to make him walk the plank? Hurry, kids, come on, get aboard. Gosh, won't Mr. Trudeau be mad when he finds out we board his submarine? We, we can't ooh, worry about that now. Binky comes first. Ooh, besides, the, the French are, are very gracious people. He got a dog. How dare you take my submarine? Sorry, Mr. Trudeau, but this is an emergency. <laughs> wow. These, are, these things are a lot cozier than I thought. <laughs> oh, wow. Check out this truly Mondo control panel. Better not touch anything, Rick. Those are extremely delicate instruments. <laughs> you with the best cap newspaper award. I'm sorry, but I can't accept this. If I'd researched the story like a real reporter, I would have known the catch story creature was a fake. Quick, get this on film. It's a golden moment of raw emotion. We'll get fantastic ratings. Now uh, listen, mister, I have to take the rap for this. Robin didn't know this whole thing was a scam. Thanks for trying, Rick, but it's my fault. I should have checked the facts first. Judge, you mustn't blame Robin, or Rick, or any of these kids. Sure, they made up the entire story, but they did it for the very best reason of all, to help out a friend. True as that is, I'm afraid I can't, in all fairness, give her the award. Oh. Oh, but I can give her this special medal for being so honest. I'm through with new exclusive exposés. This is my true purpose in life. Showing the goodness of humanity. 
humanity of people. That was it, and things returned to normal. Well, kind of normal. Honey, we've been monitoring your radio waves, and uh, you seem like a friendly enough planet to us. If you'd like, we'd be happy to give you both an exclusive interview. No way, Jeeves. We've had not taught you stories. Our newspaper has already been put to bed. I told you we should have called ahead first.